Hello, welcome to Wegg's Garage. You might be a little curious why I'm sitting on the floor right now. Well, let me show you. I'm actually sitting in front of the gearbox for our 1964 Triumph TR4. actually like to just go over a couple of quick things on our gearbox here. So, first off, let's talk synchros. This is not, as some of you have noticed, a TR4 transmission. This is a TR3 transmission. So what does that mean? We have one, two, three synchro mesh gears, and we have one non-synchro gear back here for first gear. And we're going to talk about that one in a minute. But first I want to talk synchros. So the synchros are these little brass pieces right in between the gear selector mechanism and the dog teeth that lock the gears into place. There's a good spec for these. Uh, and when you have this pushed all the way up here, you should have no less than 30 thousandths gap between the two. Let me, let me see if I can find the right one here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I don't have one for 30 thousandths, so let's start with this one. 20 thousandths. So, between... So for third gear here, Got over 20,000, so I'll have to go up there. Uh, fourth gear. Oh boy, we got a problem. Less than 20 thousandths there. We come over here to second gear, push it up. Yeah, we've got a little bit more than 20 thousandths there. Uh, let's see if we can get that spec for fourth gear here. 15 thousandths fits, so we're somewhere between 20 and 15 thousandths. But remember, I said the spec's 30 thousandths, so we're out of spec there. That's pretty tight, 24 thousandths. Uh, and this one's probably a little bit. So these, these two are not too terribly far off. In fact, that one may even be within the specification. Uh, this one is definitely, the one for fourth gear is definitely out of spec. It's way too worn out. Uh, now, we haven't really had any issues with shifting into gear. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not that big a deal. Uh, but more concerning thing I would like to show you here is uh, on this actual first gear. This is not a measurement I've found in any books. So if somebody can tell me if there's a spec for this or not, uh, I've found the overall float clearances for all of these gears, but I haven't found anything for this measurement right here. Uh, and that is when I pull back on this, I can actually move this entire assembly probably close to an eighth of an inch. Um, and I will say that Dad and I do have a theory about this. And it goes a little something like, like this. If I put this in first, and I look down here uh, between this, uh, I guess I don't know what this piece is called, carrier or something for the, bear, for the actual gear. There is supposed to be a bushing down between this and the next piece in line. And I actually don't see that bushing there at all. So what that means is I can actually move this whole thing this much. So again, if somebody can tell me if there's a spec for this, that'd be great. But considering most of the other tolerances in here are about in the, you know, 9 to 12 thousandths range, an eighth of an inch does not seem 
like a very good tolerance here. So again, hey, let me know in the comments if you know what that's supposed to be. Personally, I think it's way out of whack. So that's why I'm sitting on the floor with a transmission, trying to keep my tears out of here, you know? Huh. Well, it's just time and money, right? You might be seeing more of this next time. Later.